Hey, this is Howie. In this video, we're going to take a little bit deeper dive into the coordinate plane by taking a look at our world. What you see here is the blue planet, our home, Earth. And we're going to stop right here looking at the continent of Africa, surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. And just off the African shoreline, there is a boat headed towards the country of Nigeria. Can you figure out the boat's distance from the shoreline? How far away do you think it is? When we paused in the last video, I asked you to figure out the distance from the boat to the coast of Nigeria. Maybe there were a wide range of answers. If I am to measure the screen from the boat to Nigeria, they're only a few inches apart. Of course, when we zoom in and change our perspective, that doesn't seem too accurate. Maybe you concluded that you need some more information. And the truth is, you can't figure out how far the boat is from Nigeria without having some additional tools. How can we figure out exactly where the boat is in the water? How can we measure distance on this map? Fortunately for us, scientists and map makers, or cartographers, worked for centuries to answer precisely these sorts of questions. And what they created was, well, a coordinate grid system with the equator serving as the x-axis and the prime meridian serving as the y-axis. And that intersection between the lines? That's like the origin. And they didn't stop there either. Scientists and cartographers divided up the equator and the prime meridian into units, or as they call it, degrees, creating the whole grid system. Let's zoom in to just off the coast of Africa to see how the coordinate plane looks in that position. As you can see, each line on the map represents one unit and one degree. And here's where it gets so cool. The designers of this system created it so that between each degree along the equator and the prime meridian, there's just about 70 miles. Now do you think you have enough information to determine how far away the boat is from the coast of Nigeria? Remember that the distance between each unit along the prime meridian is 70 miles. The boat will need to travel more than four units, but less than five. That means we're going to have to add 70 four times, and then a little bit more. There's no way to tell exactly how many miles a little bit more is, so any reasonable estimate is okay. Suppose you thought the coast looked about halfway between units 6 and 7. You would have assigned it a value of around 35 miles. In that case, you would add 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 35 to find the total number of miles the boat is away from the shore. In this example, it is 315 miles away. Now that we know the distance, we can also calculate how long the boat will take to reach the shore. Let's suppose the boat is traveling at a constant rate, covering 15 miles every hour. How long will it take to reach the shore? Try out some different strategies, and let's see if you can determine the solution. 